Hi friends, this is Nageshwan. Welcome to my channel, ITBot 143. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Webtoons toolbar in Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. Open Publisher 2007. In my previous tutorial, we have created a basic website publication. Webtoons toolbar consists of various options. Before to proceed, if you don't find the toolbar in your system, come to View menu, navigate to Toolbars and select Web Tools. The first button in the toolbar helps to publish this website into the web. For this, we need to subscribe to a web hosting provider. Click on the below link to find the web hosting providers. And the next option is web page preview. Since we don't have a web hosting, so it is showing the local disk path. And on the top left corner, it will show the page title. After this, we have insert hyperlink. We can also use Ctrl K shortcut key. It will activate only when we select some text in the publication and save like hyperlink. Hotspot will also suitable for the same purpose that is to create the links. We will discuss about this clearly in the next video. For this website we have site and bottom navigation bars. To edit the text please double click on this and start typing. And this will be applied to all the pages. Click on the navigation bar, select the look for our navigation bar and come to options. We can apply small or large buttons or simply text and also insert this on every page or limited to this page only. And after that, click on insert object and we got a navigation bar with a new look. Similarly, come to the bottom navigation bar. If we select that, now we will get edit options button. Click on that and here we can change the name for our navigation bar and we can add links to all these pages. We can also remove the links and also we can modify the links. From here we can select the page for that link and if we want we can also remove this link and if you want to change the title click on change title and here please enter the new title for the page. After that click on OK and we can also change the link sequence by clicking on move up and down options and also select the option update this navigation bar with links to new pages that are added to this publication click on ok and come to left navigation bar when we hover the mouse it will show the text with a tip to open this link press ctrl and click on the following link to go to that page we can also format the text boxes of a navigation bar for this simply double click on this and we can apply colors and lines size layout text box options and web options here i want to add a color come to fill effects and after this again come to the web tools toolbar and click on the option rename here we can change the page title and we can also enter the file name to display it on the web. After that, click on OK. Again, come to the Web Tools toolbar. And the next option helps to change the background color. We can apply this color to one page or in all the pages. And we can also add background sound to each page. For that, come to Web Tools toolbar and click on the option background sound. And it will open the web page options come to background sound option click on browse to select the sound file after that click on ok and select the options for looping loop forever or loop number of times i'm selecting loop forever and after that click on ok now let's preview the web but we need internet explorer to see this effect clearly and after this we have one more option click on form control we will see this in the next tutorial and after that we have bookmarks normally bookmarks deals with the links to jump from one part of the topic to another topic and after this click on html code fragment here we can copy and paste the html code from the external source but make sure that the code is from a trusted source and after that click on the website options here we will get various options related to our website if you want to allow PNG as a graphics format to improve the graphics quality, please check in this box and we can also apply encoding and email options and after that come to save option. 
here we can allow background saves and come to user assistance here we can reset the tips come to edit options here we can perform the text editing and after that come to general here we can change the measurement units into inches centimeters picas points and pixels and after this click on web page options we can enter the page title and we can select the file name to publish to the web and we can also enter the description and keywords which best describes our website and this information is used by search engines to generate search results quickly and we have already seen how to add the background sound like this we can use web tools toolbar in microsoft office publisher 2007 i hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like button and please share this video with your friends and please visit my channel itbird143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you friends have a nice day